this is not very widely known, but the term Big Bang, people argue about where exactly it came from. It was invented by one of Big Bang's main critics, Fred Hoyle. I think it actually fits very well because when you think about the Big Bang, is something that's very loud that happened. And in fact, now our best evidence for what happened 14 billion years ago is our probes of the sound that was emitted at that very beginning. So when we say bang, we literally mean a bang. We can actually see evidence of these sounds. And that is the bang. So I think in that sense, Big Bang is very successful. But at the same time, it is not a theory, if you think about it. It is a description of what, what we see at the beginning of universe or from the beginning of universe. There was a hot phase. There were sound waves moving around. We can measure the properties of these sound waves very well. But what caused these sound waves, what caused this hot date of the universe, the plasma, the weird primordial soup, that's an open question. We don't really have a theory for that. We have many hypotheses, hotly debated, and that is what we discuss in our book. We have 25 of them, according to the last count that we'll have. So that is not a theory. That is just the subject, subject of a speculation.